Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, lecture 11, week 1. This week we turn our attention to globalization. And in this intro lecture, I want to define globalization and give you a couple of different perspectives of the same. We'll also discuss some ideas surrounding the notion of the globalization. Not everyone clearly understands, even though they talk about it, uh, but with this particular lecture, we will try to define clearly different views on concept of globalization. Well, a globalization in a business philosophy based on a certain belief that the world is becoming more homogenous. In other words, national distinctions as we know them are fading away and will eventually disappear. What does it mean? National distinctions, such for example, culture, uh, in some way or another language and the words that we use, for example, the word Google is being accepted in many languages as the uh, word that represents um, uh, some form of search, online search. Uh, we'll find out that some uh, languages will actually change and eventually some cultural aspect will disappear. On the other hand, International and Monetary Fund, which is basically an organization that funds all the major programs that the governments of um, uh, different countries are actually initiating, says that growing economic interdependence of countries worldwide through increasing volume and variety of cross-border transactions in goods and services and international capital flow has also toward a more rapid and widespread dis diffusion of technology. Now it's becoming a little bit more specific. Now we're talking about increase in trade of goods and services, interdependence of the nations on one another, and possibly a focus more on a technological aspect. Well, technology is not the only one that um, uh, dictates the concept of globalization. Now, what is important is to understand that uh, global economies are interdependent with one another um, and particular attention needs to be paid to, to the development in technology, not necessarily that the technology will be the dominant force. But if you're looking at the overall picture, uh, the, the, the second um, sentence says, in other words, globalization is a process of economic, political and cultural integration. Sounds familiar. It's a pest. So what we actually understanding now is that the past is becoming more like one um, a single form of past. So what happens in one country in a political force, it also spreads around of all, into all those countries that are economically linked to a specific nation. Another approach is more societal in itself, uh, and it's going to also help us understand what the globalization is. Anthony Giddens uh, described globalization as interaction of worldwide social relations that are linked distinct to localities in such a way that happenings are shaped by eventually occurring miles away. Now let us break it down. So it is a worldwide. So when we were referring to the first international monetary fund uh, definition, we were kind of looking into those countries that are linked with one another, where past changes in one will some way um, ripple into another nation. But in this particular case, we're talking about the worldwide. And also probably more scaring than anything, the aspect of intensifying. So it's going to keep happening. So there is almost a no stop to this particular phenomenon. Shifting of culture between different countries, it's possible outcome of these intensifying changes in the concept of globalization. Now, what it also means that the nations will be starting to increase their uh, dependency in their trade and the concept of globalization will just kind of reach another pace. Now, with this introductory video, I'm just bringing to you the key definitions of globalization. In next few videos, we will try to break it down into more details to have a comprehensive understanding of what globalization is. Until next video, stay safe, take care.